uh, engine video, ladies and gents. So this is the lawnmower engine that I picked up some time ago now, and so it's kind of piqued my interest as to what to do with it. Now, there's lots of videos online regarding changing or converting these small engines from a vertical shaft to a horizontal shaft to use in the likes of go-karts or drift trikes. Anyhow, uh, that's what I'd like to do with this one. So I've had a look at these videos online and there's a lot of the videos covering uh, Briggs and Stratton engines. Now these engines are a flat head design so there's not really an issue with getting oil to the valve train because it's pretty much the valve trains at the side of the, the barrel. Now this is an overhead valve train so what that means is basically the springs, the valves and everything like that are above the combustion chamber so that means there's a bit of an issue as to getting oil up to that part of the engine. Now the videos of I have seen they've they've gone about converting it but I wasn't too how can we say I don't want to knock them because they've done a pretty good job but for me I wasn't too happy with the amount of oil that was getting up there or the lack of it so what I'd like to do is have a go at that um, see if it can be converted just for the fun of it um, yeah why not I've got the engine fancy having a go at it so let's see what, let's see what we can do okay first things first what I've done is put in some new uh, oil channels for the kind of back plate of the engine casing uh, I'm not going to go into too much because there's loads of other videos online with people doing this. Uh, so all I've done is just kind of roughed them out with a file um, and just put in a bit of JB weld where I need to. Uh, same for the other side of the camshaft uh, journal or boss as well. So that one in there. Right, next area that I've addressed is this kind of square aperture here. So this was basically just the engine casing before and all I've done is drilled a hole and then filed it out. I'll flip it over give you a better look. So drilled that out. Uh, try and get a good source of light. I don't know if you can see my finger there. Yeah so all I've done is drilled that out and just gone at it with a file. Now this is going to be where the oil, well, I'm hoping the oil is going to head up towards the overhead valve train. Now there's a bit of an issue, there's a few obstacles in the way. Uh, so firstly, you've got the camshaft. So once that is in the, basically plumbed in, um, it's just kind of restricting anything or any oil getting thrown up there. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything about that, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. The other thing is on the underside of the overhead, or the head, sorry, you've got that kind of, well, that's the intake port, that kind of flat there. Now, if the oil does get thrown up there, it's just going to impact on that surface. Um, and it is a flat, so the likelihood is it's just going to impact it and just fall back down. I did think about putting a fin on there just to kind of direct the oil around it. Um, I may end up doing that, but we'll see. I don't want to get too involved with it. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so other parts of the engine. Uh, I've got the crankcase breather here. So this would have been the highest point of the engine before. But obviously I'm not going to be using that now. So all I've done here is basically um, I've threaded this boss and then just put a, a bolt in there with some JB weld just to plug that up. Uh, so that's just not going to be used anymore. And as for the governor, I'm not going to be using the governor so I've just removed the arm. And again I've just threaded that port and put a bolt in there with some JB weld as well. 
So for the breather, what I'm planning to do is on the overhead valve train, I'm just going to drill a hole in this and put a bolt in, a hollowed out bolt. So that's going to be uh, the engine breather. Uh, there's plenty of kind of galleries for air to get up to the overhead valve train, so you could use that oil port, or you've got ports here as well, going through the barrel or up the side of the barrel. So that should be enough. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Right, okay, so the reason that I started this project, or this little project, should we say, was I wanted to know whether we could get a feed of oil up to the top of the engine. So, uh, with the inclusion of that cut out aperture and 
the oil flinger. Have we actually got oil traveling to the top of the valve train? So, moment of truth. So it was pretty dry before um, the, the engine was assembled. So, let's have a look. Oh, wow. So, there's a pretty good coating of oil around the top of those valves. So, I'd say that that works. So it's pretty much, yeah, I mean, it's even on the underside of the the overhead valve cover. Mission accomplished, I would say.